Not uh, bad to have options. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't even start, Jason. No, no, Jason, that's exactly what you need to do tonight. Start it up, Jason, tonight. Start it on up. I'm about to say, well, I didn't read the narrative, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to come in, but I'll probably come in like a wrecking ball, depending on how this goes. Oh, right, right. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Okay, so we live. We can be live now. Cool. Okay. Awesome. 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 All right, everybody. Good evening. Hello. What's up? Evening. Greetings. Greetings. Hey, you guys. Welcome to this episode of the Hot Seat. And it already started with Jason acting up before we got on live here. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Go ahead and um, like and share on your pages, if you will, you guys, so your audience can catch a show. Super excited to have everybody with us. Cisco, is it on your page? Uh, yeah, I'm doing it right now. Awesome. Hmm, it's not online yet. Hold on one second. We had someone drop. That was me. Oh, okay. So I'm trying. I'm trying to like and share. App. Got you. You got yours on, Marquita. Um, let me go to it. Now, is that is her name Marquita or just M Mrs.? <laughs> it's, it's Marquita. Mrs. <laughs> it's the Mrs. <laughs> I'm like, well, I better be careful what I say now. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Marquita, we can't see you. There it is. I'm coming back. I was go. going to. Uh... Okay. Well, I hit the like yeah. button. I tried to do the share button. We're going to have to share later. Because, uh, yeah, it was doing something else. Your, you need to get your share life ministry together, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I was able to share it. <laughs> okay, you back, Marquita? You need the button? Yes, I was able to light. share it. <laughs> Yeah, he needs to he needs to do the button and the light ministry. Come on now. Right. <laughs> That's our life. All right, you guys, we're gonna say a quick word of prayer real quick and then we're gonna get started. Is that okay? Let's do it. Yes. All right. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to share with these your incredible people. We thank you for all the individuals that are gracing the platform with us on tonight. Father, let the words that we say be edifying and uplifting and encouraging and also bring awareness to those who need more awareness in their lives. And Father, we appreciate you for this opportunity to serve others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Let's get going. Let's get crunk. All right, this is going to be interesting because Jason already been started adding fuel to the fire. He went what out there, do? got the igniter fluid, and was like, let's burn it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Hey. Dixon. Yes, yes. I'm going to go ahead and read this narrative. Welcome, Mr. Dixon. Thank you, sir, for being on with us again, our honored co host. And All right. Well, good to be yeah. here. We appreciate you, sir. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this narrative because you, um, uh, you know, we had a little flame, a little bit of spark, and you just put a blaze on here when you put this narrative in here. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't right. know if you're really ready for this one, Mr. Dixon. I don't, I don't all right, know. All right. <laughs> all right. Her offers his options. How do we manage and still find love? Women, I can only imagine what it must be like to live your everyday life, whether it consists of going to work, going to the gym, running errands, or whatever you do on a daily basis. And in the midst of it all, there's the numerous conglomerate of suitors with various intentions approaching you, attempting to sell themselves while also selling you something, in quotation. <laughs> I often wonder to myself, man, man, that must be incredibly hard if we're honest because women seem to be more intentional when it comes to securing a relationship. Men, with a lot of us being outnumbered in such cases 10 to 1 by the available male to female ratio, it's even tougher for those who are single because of the constant, quotation, offers of enticement. Mm. Due to the limitations with regards to available men as a result of certain circumstances, examples, incarcerations, alternative lifestyles, marriage, etc., you can see, men, if we are honest in general, we have a ravenous nature as it pertains to women, meaning we think we can consume them all. However, if we are to curb that innate reaction, 
then it's fair to say our integrity is on trial as we go through the process of making our selection from the pool. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Look, I hit the button on that one and said the pool. Look, my Lord, the pool. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> from the pool mm, of options. If these facts be true, one can see how the marriage of these two plights between the male and female can produce such dysfunctional offerings such as situationships, side boot arrangements, extramarital affairs, dip-offs, and the like. So the agenda of the hour is how do we rationalize this reality? There are certainly a very broad culture of people that still desire good old genuine companionship and commitment between a man and a woman, better known as a great relationship. Mm -hmm. mm, and the plot thickens. Mm -hmm. And the plot thickens. Mm. Mr. Dixon, inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> uh, what, what, what's on your mind, Mr. Dixon, when you think of this, um, her offers and his options, sir? Um. You know, I, when I thought about this topic, you know, you think about how, let's just say, okay, let's, let's I'm going to go to the extreme end first. You know, you think about all the commercials you see uh, selling out to older men about these, uh, I guess, these life-continuing drugs, sexually mm -hmm. life-continuing drugs, and for the life of, for the women, for the women, right? And so right. you think about it like that. It's telling, it's telling the men uh, you don't have to curve your ways. Continue, right? Where, where, where there was once upon a time when men got older, they would look back and be like, "Boy, you can't be, you can't do all that. Go on and settle yourself down and get you a wife." Now we go into the club; they want to go with you to the club. So it's a different right. mindset, and you have the right. women there too. So it's like, it's like when things would normally take a take a turn for the let's just say for the peace and to settle down, it's continuing to turn up and turn up and turn up. And so when I thought about a lot of people that I may have come in contact with or associated with and talk about relationships, everybody is, if they're single, they're single in title, but they're not truly single because they have plenty of options, plenty of suitors, this, that, and the other, just sitting there waiting, but maybe that one person or another hasn't decided to say, hey, P. Coffee, I want to take this to this level with you, just you and I. So as a result, the default is, well, if he ain't said nothing, I'm going to keep on going out with Peter and this one and this one and that one too. And so when I thought about the reason I said offers versus option, women can go, I bet you guys both can agree with this. You can have a bad hair day. You can have on pajamas. You can be walking downstairs to the laundry. If, if, let's just say you live in an apartment building and the laundry's down. The floor. You can go wherever, grocery store, church, and everywhere you go, there's going to be a man like, hey, how you doing? You look nice. You might look a mess. They're still going to tell you right. you look nice. You look nice. How you doing? They're looking up, look up and down at you. And so, and men are always trying to sell women something, somewhere. And so for men, I know women have options too. But for men, the only reason why I po poise it as options for us is because if if women are uh, prescribing to the theory of being married, you can't get married unless you get married to the man or however, whatever your arrangement is of sex, sexual preference. But if you marry the man, he has to propose to you. So thus, that means that puts the man in a position to say, hey, I'm not married. I'm just out here having some friends. But those friends look sort of like a cattle herd from afar, right? And so you get you have this lot, this lot to choose from because at the end of the day, people are like, hey, I want to be married and X, Y, Z. So they're throwing their shots if you're not in a relationship, whatever that situation is. But you know, it gets it can you can you can be discouraged because you can say, well, how how does the person that really is intentional about making this happen get there amongst all of this chaos, love wise? So that's how it's like. Well. So, I, see your, I see your forehead getting wrinkled a little bit. So, go ahead and break that down. <laughs> I think when you talk about the natural progression, you look at like maybe our probably our grandparents, and they got to be 55, 60. They right. were friends. Correct. They were, they were friends. And that, that right. old Christian, they had probably built over 25, 30 years. They done buried parents together. They done struggled with kids together. They done went through hard financial times. Now they can ready to have that time when, you know, they can sit around and really just enjoy. Hey, let's go here. Let's go see this. They had that shared dreams, and so it takes time to build that. Mm. So when you look at, so if you look at somebody that's like 
in their fifties. And if you meet somebody, you, you know, you still going out clubbing or whatever. Now you're 61, 62, and you want to like change, change, and like, hey, we need stuff now. Well, that's not where you met her at. Now you're trying to bring her into something that's a friendship that never was. Mm. And so, so when you're trying to, I mean, I'm looking at who can mm. you sit around, and kick it with, tell jokes, and laugh with, and just, you know, how many people are really happy for you? What I'm saying is that they just, you, you talking about something you want to do, they happy that you're doing what you want to do. It ain't got to benefit them. They're like, wow, that person really cared about what I want. Now you got mm. a friendship, that's attractive. But everybody, you know, they want to sell that, I'm going to be young forever, you know. When you're 65, 70 years old, I don't care how much vibe you got, you really want to be doing that all day? Probably not. <laughs> you know? Wow. So that's, that's the friendship aspect. Of, like you said, what do you what? Because you got to ask what are you what are you looking for? What do you really want? Because you know, if we get married mm. at forty and get married at twenty, you looking for different things. You get married, you get married at fifty. Yeah. You don't have no babies. You're not trying to have a right. family. You already got a family. You want to right. find somebody that you can enjoy time with. Right. Right. That's it. Right. Marquita, let's hear from the other lady. Um, in the uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. What I gather is um I think because of the ratio and because of the statistics and the percentage like it's um 10 women to every one man or whatever. So of course men are going to have more options um right. than a woman does. But I also think that um men have a lot of options is because they don't have to really settle for that one because they have mm. the women who actually just would do anything. Like, okay, well, you you trying to do the married thing or you trying to do the settle down thing or you trying to date exclusively, but I got nine other women over here who don't want none of that and to still give me what I want. Mm. So I honestly think that that's where the option thing come from. But I think if more women actually up their standards or had more morals for themselves, then the option pool wouldn't be too Plentiful to me. I mean that mm. that's just my opinion. No, I think it will force men it will force men to make a decision. Because if you have more women saying, No, I don't put up with that, no, you're not just gonna come up here and do this, this is what I want, then the men wouldn't have they would have somewhat of an option, but not really. It'll make him step up to say, Okay, now I feel like I need to be this way or I need to finally man up because there's a lot of women out here who's not playing with the whole oh we just gonna be around here banging each other. Yeah. Oh, don't be shy. Oh, I mean, yeah. Don't be shy. Right. It's not just doing anything. Um so so yeah. I mean that's that's just my that's just how I feel about it. And as far as like for the most part you will have um more women to have an offer because most more, more more women know what they want. And I kind of mm. think that men do too, but they're just ready. They're just still playing too much. Mm. And you know what? I, I, you know what? I kind of kind. Let me just kind of slice to slice all the pie pieces here. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I'm gonna kick the dough in in a minute. Yeah. Let <laughs> me try to start off light, like you know, kind of take it light before I just go all the way in, because I already know Jason's gonna act up. I already know. Um, <laughs> But you know, when I when I thought about this whole concept, you know, his offer, his options, her offers, um, I thought about how, like you said when you started the conversation, Mr. Dixon, every time, and I'm sure Marquita can appreciate and agree with this, every time you walk out the door, like what you said, there is always somebody who mm -hmm. see something now you don't know what it is that they see when they saw you because you're not mm -hmm. looking at yourself and that you know you ain't looking mm -hmm. at yourself mm -hmm. so when they come as suitors you don't know what the suit is for mm -hmm. so being a woman you have to be smart enough to know that a lot of times when somebody approaches you they're not approaching you for you but they're approaching you for you if that makes mm -hmm. sense they're not yeah. approaching you with the intent of taking it anywhere past what that physicality was that they in, okay. in, that they initially caught their attention. It was some type of physicality that caught their attention that made them say, oh, 
Because, you know, men are visual creatures. So they look right. at something physical. They're not looking past that. Now, on us, on the other hand, sometimes we see a guy, we're not necessarily looking at his, we're not looking at him going, oh, he got a nice butt or that. That's not what we see. We look at mm. him as, wow, he's dapper or he's very handsome. Oh, I like the soft mm-hmm. pepper in his beard. You know, so we're our eye catching activity is not the same. Ain't nobody talking <laughs> about you, Jason. Ain't nobody talking about you, Jason. <laughs> so our, our idea when we look at a guy is not the same when we actually see y'all. Because mm. we have more, we have more um, variables in the equation when you see us. Right. So then it goes over to the question of what is he really after me for? You know, what is, what is he actually trying to offer me? You know, like what Mr. Dixon said initially in the backdrop, what is he actually offering me? What is it he's what? trying to get me to buy that he's selling me? You know, I saying? think it depends. I think it depends on the environment in which he met you, because sometimes as a woman, I can't necessarily say that when I see a man, I'm not looking at his physical attributes. I'm about to say, mm-hmm. don't lie now. You know what y'all I mean? Saying. Because <laughs> if, if that's, that's like I'm just saying, no, 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 right. that's, not what you that's not what I'm saying. I'm okay. saying the way our eyes are designed. We don't. We can't. Okay, if a guy is fully dressed, right? A lot of times mm-hmm. you can't see everything that he has to offer. Right. Made like we're made. You understand what I'm saying? Unless we're True. unless you're, you're wearing a cloak and you're from some type of other society where you're fully covered, a guy can pretty much size you up off the cuff. Right. True. Well, a lot of times with a female, they can't. We can't size the guy up off the cuff. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. He might meet the height requirement. Or whatever. Now, right. sometimes you can size them up. Depends on if he yeah. wears his jeans. I mean, you know. Keep <laughs> you know it real. There you go. Or, <laughs> or, or like when I'm in the gym in the morning, you know, you can size the guy up at the gym because yeah. he got workout clothes. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. for the most part, we don't see the whole package deal till we see the package deal. Gotcha. Right. Now, yeah. as a woman, y'all seen the package. You saw mm. everything you wanted to see pretty much from now set. Well, not quite. Now, sometimes well, enough, the package enough, is, enough is deceiving after the fact. But let it go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That lace front come off. <laughs> right. All kinds of things. The shift and drop and everything else that's, is different. That's a whole other, that's a whole right, right, right. Yeah. Right. Going on out right. here, with people, you know, shaving off layers or whatever. But I'm saying from the physical perspective, unless mm-hmm. you're wearing butt pads or something, you pretty much as a guy can say, oh, she fine or, you know, or whatever, because yeah. you see boobs and butt and whatever, you you know, you see all that. But with a guy, you might not necessarily see the same thing in that same context. But you might be able to, like I said, it depends on what he rocking, you might be able to size him up and you might not be able to. Right. But with us, it's easier to size us up. You see what I'm saying? So when you talk about this, it's like it's almost like an air of deceit when you first initially meet somebody because you just see this, ooh, whatever that ooh was that caught your eye, but that's not really what the offer really equates to. Mm. That's not really what that's not really what's going on behind the scenes. Because y'all tell me, I mean, y'all guys, when is the last time you walked up to a woman, you met her, and you told her exactly what you wanted? <laughs> oh, we got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of the best. Have y'all ever? I mean, <laughs> hey, when is the last time you walked up to a woman, you saw her, and said, "Hey, you know, this is what I want from you." You talking about a complete stranger? Yeah, you see the chick. Man, and you I ain't say, no Harvey she... Weinstein. You got to be careful these days. Hashtag. Yeah. You. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to get slapped or beat down or nothing. Right. You know, but then again, my mom. But then again, my mom raised a gentleman, so I'm gonna walk up and say hello. Now, yeah. pertaining, and, and, and granted, I'm married at this point, but when I was out dating, granted, mm. depending on how she carried herself and how the mm. conversation went, it yeah. might end up being that night, it might be a week from then, it might be whenever. Did you mm. say a night? Wait a minute now, did you say a night and a week? Depending he said it might be that night. night. He said that night or in later in the that week. That night. Oh, my. Yeah. Okay. Or right. later in the week. It just depends on how they carry themselves. Mm. Mm. Okay. Wow. Because uh, some of y'all know what y'all want. Y'all were just waiting on him to come say hello. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Jason. 
Yeah. Listen. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Okay, I'll tell you what. Find a lie. Find a lie on what no, I said. No, no. That is true. It is very true. true. Wait, yes. wait, oh, question. You ain't have to give a shot to the head off the, off the cup, though, like that, though, Jason. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> what I just said what I been. Most, most women, when they see a guy, they, they, they within a couple of seconds, they be like, he can get it or he can't. Now, he ain't going to talk yeah. himself into nothing, but he can talk yeah. himself out of something. Right. You know, they yeah. be like, oh, you, now you could be in, but you say stupid stuff, then you get out. Right. Hey, tell jokes, be funny, mm -hmm. and uh, let it roll. Because mm. you don't always have to beg for something people want to give you free. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Is, that, is that your daddy word, Cisco? That's my daddy. My daddy's over there. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the roll is off. Be patient. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. That is crazy. But okay, mm. but you know what? And another thing too, with the with the offers, a woman. The question is, how do we find love in this whole equation, right? Right. The way I think that you will really find love out of this equation is when you make the decision that you want to find love. Once you decide. Mm -hmm. And you have that idea in your mind and you already have that decision in place. It's like applying for a position at a company. You know you got a resume, which is you. This is what you bring to the table. And then you start seeking out the companies that you want to work with based on your skill set and what they can offer. And so mm -hmm. I think when you actually talk about the equation of love inside of this idea, the way to get to it is you have to make a decision. Once that decision is made, then you start taking steps towards it. So everybody that is outside of that decision, you start eliminating the suitors, if you will. Correct. Okay. So well, let me ask you this. Who's to say that initially the person that you just met is lovable? Well, that's not. That's why I said you got the resume, you got the interview, you got that whole process. process. It's a process yeah. that takes yeah. place. It's not just mm. off the cuff. You know, you can't, we can't, mm. I mean, think about it. Think about him, how many times have you gone to an interview, right? You, mm -hmm. based on what they wrote in their um, synopsis about what they were looking for, what they were offering, you went because of what you saw, right? All that information mm -hmm. that they put mm -hmm. out there, it attracted your attention. But when you got there, that's not what it really was. Yep. That's where your question comes into play where the person is not lovable. Well, okay, I came to this interview and I see that our, you know, you're not meeting my standard of approval or we're not going to be able to work out, so I don't want to join your company. Mm. Hence, options. Yeah, right. I think it's, it's, that's the idea that you, <laughs> like you, you you decide that you want to be in love, you want to be in a relationship first, right. and then somebody will fit that criteria. When I hear people say, well, I didn't want to love him. I was, I wanted to do my thing, but I just fell in love. Now you're torn because you're doing something you really don't want to do based on some heightened emotion that ain't going to, ain't going to sustain you. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. not, if that's not mm -hmm. going to sustain you because you're fighting against yourself. Oh, man, I don't really want to be in a relationship, but I love her. How that work? Yeah. I mean, how long are you going to be fighting your willpower on that? When somebody yeah. say, you know what, I'm, re I'm ready to do something. Now you can find somebody who fits inside the criteria. What, you know what you're looking for, you know, and then you can grow, you know, friendship and all of that. But when I hear people like, "Oh man, I just fell in love," that's why I did it. But you know what? Soon as even, but even after you make, what, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Fell in love with what? Right. Yeah, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. What? It, what? It, what? The, I mean, just. Because guys don't really fall in love with, I mean, just like randomly. We women usually do that. But if a guy says he didn't fall in love, what was, what did he fall in love with if he really didn't want to be in a relationship? Was it, some, was it something she was doing that he was loving? And he identified it as lust, but it really is mad, it's really lust? Could be. Mm -hmm. He could be distracted. I mean, could it be could the way be she what? takes care of her business. I mean, look, okay, I'll break it down. We all find it. We all meet people, and there's always that uh, 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 safeguard up because, you know, they may be ain't crap. See, I didn't curse right. that time. I did good. So they may be an ain't crap person. So you leave that right. option available for them to not yeah. be an ain't crap person until right. you actually kind of get to know them. And sometimes, you know, you meet them in the club and they might be dressed like a hooch. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. So you get to talk and everything else, and you might find out that it was just a night where the dress was a little too short. Maybe she put on five pounds and it fitted differently. You never know. But, right. you know, then you get to talking to her and find out she's some businesswoman. You know, she might be the owner of a company or a business or something like that and, and carries herself completely different than what you what you met. So when you first mm -hmm. met her, you may be thinking, okay, this is someone I can smash. This is someone that, you know, we're going we gonna, to we gonna spend a little intimate time or two with physical. And then mm. come to find out that after you get to talking to her, you're like, wait a minute, this this, this person got a one hell of a mentality. You know, yeah. so when you talk about sometimes men falling in love quick or whatever else, that's a lot of times what happened. You know, a lot of times women be like, I put it on them. It ain't what you're thinking that you yeah. put on them. It's a lot right. of it is how you handle your business and how you carry yourself. Right. The conversation, a guy would be more interested. They'll linger. Like, wow, man, I remember talking to her. That was cool. She was, he actually liked yeah. the books. <laughs> she got an idea about something else. Because, you, you mean, right. the body, you can see so many beautiful bodies all the time. Right. You're not going to meet beautiful people who got a conversation and an idea about life that sounds intriguing. You you be wanting to question them. Hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Because they said something <laughs> that kind of resonates with you. That mm -hmm. sticks with mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. But you know, a lot a lot of times, if we're being truthful as men, we don't get to that position to notice those other things about her until we went through the other position. That's just the truth of it. We don't we don't really because I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Initially, initially that's where our head is. I don't care if we're the best of men. Initially, we're attracted to you, and we want you to we want to be around you, and we want to connect. Then after right. we connect and we get to a place to say, you know what, this this might be a little more than a connect. I can kind of hang out with her a little bit. Then you're able to see those other variables of her. But initially, you ain't paying none of that attention. You just like where your focus is at that moment. Then we mm -hmm. transition over to the other options. You understand what I'm saying? Whereas women on the other side, when you guys are, are confronted with the uh, offers, it's their offers because you're looking to see if some if one of those suitors are going to sell you something that aligns with your expectations and your right. movie script. That's what right. you're hoping for. So right. and so the, the reason is so when you said what are men selling? Some men are just they. I mean this is this has enough new. A lot of men are selling you game. They are selling you lies. They are selling you some of some some of them might be legitimately looking for someone like you. But a lot of times. Yep. It's our spiel to get what we want. It's our 30 second ele elevator pitch interview. You know what I'm saying? There you go. <laughs> the elevator pitch. So the elevator pitch intentions is to get the horizontal. Correct. In most cases, if we honest, you can stand up. You got to be horizontal. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Are y'all serious? <laughs> Yeah, if we be honest, sometimes you just gotta put it out there. Yeah, that's the truth. Peter, I think somebody need to be in timeout corner because we got two, three people in here acting up on tonight. <laughs> Listen, so it just depends. Hey, you said it was the hot seat. Here we go. This. Right. Yeah. I think that a lot of times a guy will have say, a girl. Sometimes the truth hurts. <laughs> a guy will have a girl <laughs> a friend, and he'll start huh. talking to her about things going on in life. He ain't even he won't even see her like that. But as right. to talk to her and learn her mind without right. without without even expect any sex from her, he starts feeling this attraction. Mm -hmm. Like, wow, man, I wasn't even looking at her like that. She ain't changed in appearance, but she's becoming beautiful through conversation and getting to Correct. know her who yep. she really is. And right. that's why you're like, man, it just now then you're like, wow, man. I, then you start seeing her the 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 the, the mental part and the emotional part. Starts overruling the, your your physical, and even though you might be attracted to it, but she, you never right. saw her like that. But then once your heart mm -hmm. get connected, she gets finer in your eyes, right there. And, and here's the ugly here's the ugly truth. Mm -hmm. This is the point where we say, and it may not sound the best, pea coffee, but oh god, after <laughs> listen, after you That's have you. this is this is where the term keeper comes from, but keeper doesn't come until we have first you have to have first then you want to keep so after you have then you say oh you notice all these other personality traits and things oh i can keep this one she's this mm -hmm. that's not that's where it comes from you know what I'm saying? but no so guy says can he can keep this without having that's just what it is
Martina, Martina, I need you. So is it possible to? So is it possible to see all those things before the physical action of it all? Like, is it possible for a man to say, okay, based on the conversation, I haven't had sex with her yet, but based on conversation, then I can see her being a keeper. Or does it have to be? It can, but if we go back to what you said earlier, you said if we as women control that. If you control the narrative, control the action, of course, because you're leaving him with no choice. But if you leave it up to him, he's going to make your keeper after he's had. That's just what it is. is (laughs) So so here's my other question then. If the narrative is played out to where the the lady is like, I'm not getting ready to, you're not going to get around, you're not going to put me in the horizontal or in Cisco's terms in the staircase (laughs) ministry. (laughs) (laughs) In the elevator, you know, wherever y'all trying to get down, you know, you're not going to put me in the figure four just yet. So, would you say since a guy has that 10 to 1 ratio, is he going to be taking advantage of other options while this lady is the person that he likes, is interested, he's digging her and all that? Is he going to be still exploring other options? Or is it a point, or is there a point where the guy could say, "I'll wait to be with her"? Or do you want the truth? Y- yes, don't, yes. Don't give me the truth. Oh my gosh! Yeah. The truth on tonight is what he would do at best for her. Now, this is now let's just be honest. This is if this guy has prescribed to be in a sexually active person. If he's out doing him, but he meets her and she intrigues him and he likes her, she's going to have his attention. But the minute they have that conversation and she says, you know what, I'm just saying, you know, I'm waiting on God and this is this and my life is this, <laughs> all of these things, he's going to say, oh, she has some some morals and values and passion for God. Great. I would love wifey like that. But his loins mm-hmm. are going to say, um, I am going to perfectly position her right here as I carry on my other ministries. That's what he's going to do. He's going to position her in a, in a position of waiting while he does his other stuff. And he's going to hold her in high regard over here. But he'll come back and he'll do all the nice things with her. But he's going to get his hands dirty in the interim. Trust and believe. So yeah. when does a man ha- hold himself in a high regard to keep himself? You know you know what? Most so of you us. Asking, you asking questions like we can't do that. I mean, I just said. Oh, I'm no. You, I'm, 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 because it's here's, here's, here's the ugly truth. <laughs> He holds, a man will hold himself in regard when he when he sees the woman hold herself there. He'll it, he'll check okay. himself. He checks right. himself when he see you hold yourself there. If you don't right. hold yourself there, why like 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 my man said earlier, why pay for something that you give out already for free? Why do I have to do the work mm. for it if you already give it out for free? You know what I'm saying? So so if you holding yourself in regard, he has no choice to say, you know what? I need to stop all this mess. This woman is really about something. If I don't want to miss mess up her, forget all this other stuff I'm doing. I don't want to taint her with it. So let me respect her the way she's commanding it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but the other part is or, if he's what, what, what he ahead. wants. He wants to move forward. What is Correct. he trying to accomplish? Correct. Correct. He's trying to accomplish nothing, but just part. Yeah, you ain't gonna get nothing. You're not gonna get nothing. Yeah. That's that's a good point. Okay. Yeah, if you don't want nothing, you ain't get nothing. You're right. Good point. Okay. He got to decide, you know, you know what, I think I want to build I'm over this. I'm over this lifestyle. Right. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. Yeah. That's wow. where I was going at because it, but it seemed like, you know, it was all, you know, what the, what the woman wants and she controls the narrative. But, like, why it has to be, okay, she's going to hold herself to a high regard, so I'm going to stop playing too. Why couldn't this be, yeah, I got all these options, but for me, I don't right. want to play either. Right. Yeah, okay. but, that, but that's but for us, unfortunately for us, that's a mental state of being we have to arrive at to get there. And that's even before meeting you or knowing who you are. We have to be, right. have that made yeah. up in our mind, period. Then we meet you and we're like, you know what? I've been preparing myself for this moment. Otherwise, like okay. you said, we're moving unilaterally doing what we do. Yeah. OK. Wow. OK, okay. yeah. Well, these comments are going slap on. OK. All right. <laughs> So, <laughs> hey, and at some point, at some point, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna I'm gonna discuss a couple of uh, factors that uh, Mr. Dixon and Mr. Cisco brought up at the beginning. Absolutely. We can Absolutely. Have- no, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What do you mean? No, you got, you no, got I don't want to get off. Jason, why, hit a wise hot, Jason. Come on, hit a wise hot, Jason. Come on. 
let's break it down. Let's break, <laughs> get it let's break wild down pot, a couple honey. things. Get it wild <laughs> let's, let, hey, like I said, let's break down a couple things. You know, if some of us watch our uh, uh, our open leaders, if we will, you know, comedians, uh, if you're watching like Chris Rock and stuff, he already told you. He's like, most of y'all women, I mean, y'all talking about how we hold each other and how we carry ourselves and everything else. Keep in mind, y'all have been saying no your whole life. Mm. You've been getting things offered to you your whole life. Mm. You've been saying no. So that's why when somebody come at you, it's real easy just to say, no. You know what I'm saying? And we're the ones that have been hearing the no. Well, now things are slighted, and now we have options. So go ahead and say no. You know what I'm saying? And then a man can do something, you know, if he just wants to. If he wants to. Like I said, hopefully he holds himself in a high regard. The other thing is, and this is what Mr. Dixon was talking about, they have all of these, um, how do I say this, wellness products for men right. as we continue to get older. So I feel right. bad for a lot of you women because the day of the sugar daddy just getting a paddle. It's over. It's over. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're you know right. So you're going to get your bills paid if you're dealing with an older man, but you're going to, yeah. You're going to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. do some favors too. Yeah. You want you know some favors. So I'm pretty sure I said oh, that in no comments about probably getting worse. So let's do that. You know what? I just, you know what? I can't. I just cannot. Now, something Marquita said earlier on, I wanted to, to, I was trying to catch up to, but it had passed by. But I believe she said something about when you were talking about depends on her, her perception was depending on where you meet the man, it's appeared what he wanted from you. Is that what you were saying? Something like that, similar? Yeah, she, well, she, when we talked so about, she, was in, when, she said, when I was talking about um, when a guy just sees us and he, we initially catch his atten- attention, she was saying the intent sometimes yeah, depends me. on where we are when that, in, when that exchange happens. Well, that's why I wanted to dispel. It don't oh, matter it where a man, it, it doesn't matter where a man meets you. He can meet you in church, wherever. The innate person of who we are is going to look at you physically and desire you physically. It don't matter where you are. I mean, we can talk about all the other stuff later, but when we see you, that's where we are. We, I mean, I've seen men in play. I've seen men like my at, at, a, uh, at my son had like this recital thing once, and I'm there, and everybody was kind of like in a family mode. Nobody was on that kind of stuff. The guy, he's sitting over there, <laughs> what you doing after this? It didn't matter where it was. He just had his mind. <laughs> he wanted to get at something. He didn't care. He was like, I don't care where we at, kids function or not. A woman is here. So that's how it's unfortunately how we are. Right, right. I mean, school, being after honest. school yeah, program. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you, gotta, you, have, you have to admit too. What's that wrong with women that? Women are becoming more aggressive also. A lot of women are, will approach you like, hey, what's up? Hey, I ain't trying to be this or that with you. What's, what, what's up with you? I'm like, okay. Mm. That makes you real sick. Yeah, you, it, it ain't like they just sit around and wait for you to holler at them. You know, you can uh, right. Especially these women, days, they, they you know they they got their own career, they got their own money, they got their own house, and they, you know you like oh she mm. like no no she just will knock you off and send you on your way. Don't take it personal. Wow. <laughs> right, right. And you see our next video. Wow. Like, hey, hey. Right, right. And, it, and that happens a lot more than women want to admit because I heard like women will say like. Yeah, that's how he, I know him. Like, how you know him? Oh, I know him. My girl was doing such and such. And then you find out, like, oh, okay. So that's what we're doing mm. now. Okay, good, mm. good. Yeah, I mean, I, gosh. And then I, earlier, I oh, wait. Don't say it. I hate, it. To, <laughs> I hate to admit uh-huh, that that's uh-huh. true, but it is, it's scarily true. Because there's another part of this whole equation that Mr. Dixon mm-hmm. put on. Um, in the inception was some people still want a good old genuine relationship. traditional relationship. Right. So yep. When you talk about um, Mrs. Cisco and Mrs. Jason, when y'all when you talk about the whole when you talk about the whole perspective of hmm. the people that want to have an organically old fashioned traditional type relationship, mm-hmm. the era is almost dinosauric. Right. And that it's almost totally extinct. It's almost right. totally extinct, unfortunately, which right. makes it very, very much more difficult, even when you have the options and the offers, to find a legitimate person of value inside mm-hmm. of that equation. Right. So, so, which makes me think about this whole concept. All these offers and options lead to loneliness. 
Yeah, it correct. Leads to, it leads to you uh, being could, yeah. by yourself, you know, isolated and not having an actual person because all of these offers and options. I mean, I think about this all the time. You think about even Facebook now has turned into POF and blackpeoplemeet.com. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So and everything else. Everything in one. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, like, literally, literally you know, and all of y'all know, everybody on this panel is attractive people. Y'all all, mm. if we be honest, somebody has DM'd every last one of us with an mm-hmm. offer or option. Right. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. Don't try to take this. <laughs> Don't even try it, Kojak. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. <laughs> I mean, you know, people are, it's just, it's a whole different time frame where people have so much stuff that they can see now, so much yeah. access that it's an air of people being extremely lonely because it's just so much coming at them. Yeah, because everybody, I call it fractional relationships. Instead of spending an hour or two hours of getting to know somebody and talk to somebody, you can get 50, 80 slices of five minutes of this one and right. five minutes of that one. Right. Right. Without even working for it. So I'm like, and that's what you think. You're like, wow, everything's cool. Then the, then the question becomes, how addicted are you to the Facebook, Instagram attention that you get? How would you be mm-hmm. for getting that? Right. You know, you, you got a good man. Y'all cool. Right. Y'all kicking it. Everything's going well. But you know, you still ain't getting the likes on that new dress or those new pumps you got or that new bag you got or that new watch you got or whatever. Mm. How, how how are you willing to set that set that down? And to be told, I don't think mm, I don't think many people are gonna do that anymore. Mm. I think that I, I think that that takes work, and I don't think if, when you can get what you can get the attention that you want without having to work for it and deal with this person. And to get a fractional of everybody, because I know some people like they'll be at you, you talk to them at dinner, and they updating your post. I'm like, okay, I do Facebook and Instagram when I don't have nobody to talk to. Right, I just right, right. Mm-hmm. And somebody right. sitting at the table with you, right? And you looking at guess what they did? I'm like, I'm right here. I don't care what they did. Right, right. And that's what you know. You know. You know. You you right. Like, you kind of hooked on Facebook, and yeah, you need that attention all the time. Right. And and again, that's loneliness. You yeah. Lonely. Yeah. Well, well, here, here's uh, what you think yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, that, that's a good point with Jason. It all depends on where your value it lies, as that, where that's and concerned. It, yeah. And well, if you don't mind, let me break this down because maybe about a year ago, I stopped mentoring high school boys. I've been mentoring high school boys seven, eight years, right? Mm-hmm. And one of the things I noticed is when I was raised and I got in front of Gentlemen, like what we have on this panel, I'm going to look you in your eye. I'm going to shake your hand. I'm going to say what my name is with confidence because you know what? I know me and I know my exactly. name. I'm meeting a lot of these little high school guys. And these, and, some, and like I said, I've been doing this seven, eight years. So these guys are grown now. They're in the clubs. They're in the dating scene. They're in whatever, right? They're 24, mm-hmm. 25 years old now, some of them. And one of the things I noticed is they don't know how to communicate. And I'm mm. noticing a lot of these mm, young ladies true. don't know how to communicate. And, you really? know, and I, I, I was mentioning earlier uh, uh, when I was talking to a friend how, how I used to travel all the time. Well, I used to travel, uh, you know, especially when I first came out of college. I'm traveling between here in Louisiana, multiple cities, states, whatever. And you're right. When you're by yourself, you will get lonely. So what I do, I go to the mall, go spend some time. I end up having conversations with just random people that you run into. And what I realize is a lot of people cannot express themselves. They can't talk. And so that's why you get the physicality. That's the only way they know how to express themselves. I mean, you yeah. well, before we got, before we went live, the panel ended up seeing my youngest daughter. She just turned nine. My oldest daughter is 14. And she has friends whenever she goes out, like to the mall or whatever, that get approached by these young men. And basically they walk up, hey, how you doing? Can I get your cell phone number so I can text you later? And we'll walk off. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's, <laughs> And then after wow. that, them Twitter fingers and everything else start, hey, how you doing? When can we meet up? Can we do this? Let's get naked. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. So that's the only way some of these people know how to express themselves. So when you're talking about men having options, and that's the main way they understand how to express themselves, they think they're raising hell. Mm-hmm. When really and yeah. truly, like you said, they end up turning into a 30, 40-year-old. Hopefully, they've learned how to talk and express themselves then. Right. But they turn into a 30, 40-year-old talking about, hey, man, where the hell my life went? Right. What? Yeah, 
So that's just a different Yeah, because, dynamic. you know, you think, about, you think about all this stuff where, and it's so crazy, it's funny that you say that, because even grown men, not even, even, I know you talked about the teenage boys, but grown men do that now. They literally yeah. want your number so they can text you. What? I don't want yeah. to I don't want to text. Don't text me. Call me and talk to me. I don't mm. want, I'm not going to sit up here and have no text relationship with a grown behind person and we all add up. I'm go. not going to sit up here and have no text relationship. Are, they, are you serious? But mm. unfortunately, like Cisco said earlier, because it's so mm-hmm. much growing, it's so, so much stimuli, they mm-hmm. don't have the energy or the wherewithal to try to keep going with one individual and giving up all that energy to entertain no. this one person for two hours when they can do this nine, nine second blitz. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can text. Text. I can. let me tell you something. My brother said something to me one day, had me tripping. He said, I said, who are you texting? He said, everybody. I said, who is everybody? He said, all the people that I need to text uh, for, to ask them to say good morning to him. I said, who mm. are you talking about? He said, you know them. I said, I need to ladies. He said, Y'all like somebody to text y'all talking about good morning, how you doing, baby, blah, blah, blah. He said, so I just text all y'all at one time. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes you can set it up to where you can't see how many people you texting at one point. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I was like, I said, are you serious? He, <laughs> like, he said, yeah, yeah that's, the, that's what y'all like. Y'all don't really require a whole lot nowadays. See? Mm. And I know that's some what guys I'm saying. that got it set up to where that's all they got to do is get up and type the message and hit send. And it goes yeah. to all of them. To everybody. They don't, to, they don't have to even put to every dispatch, number in. They in the dispatch. Yes. Yeah. And when he said that, now mind you. That is crazy. Mind you, my brother's almost 40 years old. This is not coming from a young guy. This is coming <laughs> from an older guy. And he said, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, he said, y'all don't require very much anymore. So we can See? do pretty much all we want to do without any kind of repercussions and no problems because you're not going to get mad if i if you call my phone my brother said that he said it so arrogantly i almost I'm, i almost slapped him he said if you call my phone and i really don't want to talk to you because i'm not trying to interact that hard with you all i got to do is text you back and you'll still communicate with me mm, it's yep. shut me down. Mm. it's the truth yeah they, they have an entirely different language I just was like, and I, I, deal. I, I just yeah. couldn't, I, and it was kind of, you know, I told him, I said, this is offensive at best. He said, well, do you do it? I said, ham and cheese. No, I didn't say it like that. But um, mm-hmm. I said, ham and cheese. Ham and cheese? No. Ham and cheese, no. You know, because I was like, no, I'm not going to belittle myself as a woman down to dummy in myself to two or three words on a text message. I don't mm-hmm. know. That ain't how, no. Y'all, you ain't going to get because me. Because a text me. message, it's, a text it's message so doesn't impersonal. depict who you it's are. Right. It's not right. I don't even know you. I don't know who you are. Right. It's no connection. It's no mm. connection in no text message. Not not a real connection. If I mm. if you're not talking right. to me, there is no connection with that. Hence, going back to all this this DMs and all this stuff on Instagram, all these messages and all that kind of stuff. I'm telling you, it's just a mess. It's all these offers and options are gonna lead people and dig this. All the while that people are doing this, they're getting older. Mm-hmm. They get yep. older. They forgetting that variable. Right, right. And another thing that they don't want to tell y'all about these little stimuli, stimulus packages that they offer into the men's ministry, <laughs> it's called the heart attack. Heart attack, strokes, high blood pressure. That's only way. when we don't, well, that's only when we forget we 40. I mean, we still trying to get our 20 year old back. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's when you get the heart attacks. I mean, you know, not just taking it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> see, see how you do? See cardio. That? A lot of cardio. A lot of cardio. <laughs> how you know? A lot of cardio. I heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Y'all acting up on tonight. Mr. Dixon. Yes, yes. Dixon. Somebody in these comments said, where is Idris Elba at? Oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> said, all the light skin love is in the building, but where's Idris? Uh, I told you. They didn't get on. They had the so he got movie. sat down tonight. He got sat down tonight. He, he got like, sat down. He, he, said, yeah. he, said, he, said, he said he couldn't contend with the light skin lovers. <laughs> oh, hey, so listen, earlier when I, was doing, when I was going through this and trying to do some little notes, I came across a definition that kind of threw me, made me say, hmm. And I, it's like if you if you look at men and women from 
let's just say the option standpoint and entertaining all these, you know, offers, I thought about this. I said this particular meaning is called it's hoarding, right? It's called right. hoarding. Right. And it's it, the and the definition is a supply of accumulation that is hidden or carefully guarded for preservation or future use. And I said, yes. wow, and that's that's how we operate. If you think about it, it's pretty wow. accurate about what it is. It's 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 like you like you're saying, you are you're saying, I, I like this, but I'm gonna put it in the storehouse because certainly I'll use it at a future date. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? That's scary. It's like man. <laughs> that, that, that's yeah. that's scary at best. Because right. like I said, you all the know wild, it too. all the right. wild, that's what I said, both of them, both people, both but parties. You know, both. And then another thing I think I about not too. as much. Right. Huh? What she say? What she say? What you say? Not as much. We don't do oh. it. No. Yes, we do. Uh, yes, we do. Y'all have y'all see y'all oh, see places yes, going deeper than ours, far deeper than ours. We can never imagine. Right. Okay, dig this. Being that the ratio is so depleted when it comes to male suitors versus females, right? You think about how much more a woman has to deal with because when you think about the suitors that pop up, if we all just tell the truth. You know how we say, oh, man, I ain't never had a problem getting no guy. That ain't the issue. It's is the guy belong to somebody else. That's the real issue. Right. So all of these. What do you mean by belong? All this stuff. When you think about <laughs> it, like, if you really think about the bigger picture, if you got a lot of suitors coming at you, all them dudes can't be unattached. No, absolutely not. They can't yeah. be unattached. So it's not even a real, it's not even real suitors. This is just people with these false bringing these mm. false airs to make you believe this lie because they can't be mm. a real suitor you talking about dudes you talking about the married guys who travel yeah like what jason was talking about earlier the uh, that don't have integrity you talking about the guys that drive trucks across country they got like four five six different families that they dealing with they've created all kinds of all over the country. Networks, all kind of networks. Okay, all kind of, yeah, networks, absolutely. Networks. Al Qaeda love sales, all Pretty over much. the place. Yeah. <laughs> and, then you got, and then you got the guys that this is something that has tripped me out over the last like six, seven years. You got the guys that say they're single, but they're really not single. They're not organically single, meaning they're unattached to anybody, but they single because they're not married. Yes. That's the only thing that makes qualifies them as single. But they really not. Yeah, hey, I've heard women say that too. Well, it's true. But when you talk about the offers and the options, we don't have as much opportunity as y'all got. Because it's, 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 well, well, it's not as many. No, it's true. It's true. Because it's not as many of y'all accessible to us. Correct. Listen. Why do you think that girl made why why do you think the girl made the song about the her milkshake makes them come to her yard? She got the milkshake. Go. Y'all got it all. Come on, man. Oh. Again, y'all been saying okay, so, no your whole life. There's so, a reason you like said, I said no said, your whole life. A lot of these suitors are not accessible organically. Correct, correct. So we can sit here and play like if, if that was the case, if that was really the case and we had all these options and these offers and some of us who really want to have a relationship, we wouldn't be single. We'd be married somewhere happily ever yeah. after. But guess what? The, the positioning is a... hold themselves to a higher regard or have standards and not be in that little play pool that y'all be speaking about. Small options and yeah, no, no, no. We're single. Yeah. I know it doesn't sound good, but there's, there's some women out there that had, that had their own playground. They, Correct. They have people coming through all their own too. Right. Yeah, y'all have your own bench. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we didn't have you know, you you know, people been on the team before, yeah. There you but go, clean it up. Clean but, it. <laughs> but but dig this. Mm -hmm. but, but dig this. Even the people on the team still want organically single. But you but you knew that too though. You already knew that though. Yeah. You knew that coming in. Let me tell you something. The the biggest thing you said it earlier yourself, Mister Mister Dixon, y'all do a whole lot of lying. Yeah. So I, mean, I, mean, I didn't because, say about no lying earlier. But you know what? But, but now it, when he was talking but, about how y'all come and y'all sell us this and you sell us that and all that, yes. all that's lies. So if you on the team it's you it's assumed that you single on the team not mm -hmm. attached to somebody else outside of the team that's why you own the team. Wait a minute. But if it's a team it doesn't matter. 
Correct. And that's correct. Like correct. <laughs> this is not a single sport if you're on a team. Yo. <laughs> Hey, it's like, let's it's like just be tick, honest. It's like a chick putting a guy on a team and go, he ain't single. What was right. <laughs> I mean, right. I, right. I've heard them. I've heard them say to me over the time in the past, they'll say like, yeah, I just, I'm just dating and I have this quote unquote bench. And I say, so what'll happen if we walk somewhere and we and someone see you and I'm with you? And you know what they tell me? Oh, he know he better play his position. That's what, there you that's go. what he knows to play his position. That's the term. He's he not going to say nothing. I'm going to walk right by him and he better not say nothing because he knows he's going to need to call him later. That's the term. That's what it is. So, that's what I'm question. saying. And think about what happens when you say that to a man. Correct. But I'm thinking never about, look at, I'm he ain't going to never look at you the same again after that. You can forget that. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, but yeah. if you, if the truth be told, Charles, do you respect a woman who told you that? Do you really have to I mean, respect look, her? I'm, I'm not going to say, I mean, she, I appreciate her being honest, but she also showed me her scars. So I don't know. I don't have no bandages for her. So you get my shit. So I get it. I understand. I heard it, but she said that what she said. So I'm like, okay, so she didn't. Man, you got me know clearly where she's coming from. So I'm not going to be a fool to jump into that. Yeah. Yeah. Because, if, if, because just because you started the day, you can be on the bench tomorrow. You can be that guy. That's correct. Correct. Because see, the benching. Don't answer the phone. Hey, yeah. She will put you on the bench. She will tell you. She'll and see, here's the reality of the bench. The bench, the bad part about the bench, the bench is the mentality. Forget right, about yes. the physical part. It's just that she is, she's apt and prone to do it. So you don't know, you don't know when she may shift to the bench mindset. And then you're in trouble. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. If you're happy to you too. You too can get on the bench. And, and look, and while, and, while we're, and while we're on this top topic, earlier, remember Marquita said earlier on tonight, she said, yeah, because they be still playing games. I got something for that. Here's the thing. Mm. When you so you just made it a competition. Yes. When you position a man to that of a child, he plays. So nowadays, a lot of women are, are treating men like boys. And kid, they, wow. they are making them super comfortable, buying everything, phone in their name. Wow. I got this yeah. for you. I'm taking care. I, I did your resume for you. All these things you're making, you you make, you're giving him no option then to play. What else is my job? Right. You the man, so I'm gonna play. You wow. get my chance? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've always said there's, there's only two kinds of men so. that make money for women: pimps yeah. and little boys. Mm. They don't want to us. That's, that's, if a, a man's comfortable taking money from a woman. He's a pimp or he's a little boy. Yeah, because I'm like, men have their own. Wow. Okay, see, I think what I'm really <laughs> struggling with <laughs> see, is how know, much. Y'all just, just don't want to hear it. That's what it is. And see, you, no, you no, that, that's not the issue. That's not the issue. What's what the I'm issue? struggling with is why does it seem like the woman is the one who controls the narrative? Like, at what point do you say. I don't want to be does. like a pimp or a little boy. So this is my, like, I'm Guess a grown man, so I'm not. I said this before. Y'all control the tempo. And, and, it's, and you know what stops you all from having what you want? How you think. Because the thing is this, the sooner you all gather, gather in your mind that you have it, you will have it. And so I say that to say, Think about the concept of the woman being derived from the man's rib, right? Basically, mm -hmm. so that's telling you, you are his necessary support. And right. so if okay. that support is null and void for so, on, for so much longer, guess what? He's going to collapse. He can't stand. Mm -hmm. So he needs you to stand. You just have to know that. If you don't know that, we can't help you know it. You know what I'm saying? You got to know it. But it's something right. you can't teach. You have to innately know your, your purpose and your worth to him. And then you won't have the thought of feeling like you're running around at his beck end of his dysfunction and whatever his intentions are. You can control it. You really can. Okay. So you have influence. Yourself, we need a community of women who is going to raise the standards so men cannot be put to the boy. Now, I agree. Okay. Right. So the option, the option avenues need to die. That's what needs right. to happen. Right. That's Which it. goes yeah. back to what I said earlier about making the decision. To, to have love, correct, and then yeah. staying out of the staying out of the cesspool and the energy because 
there's a there's an easy way to eliminate a lot of this. It's it's called ignore. Correct. We can just ignore a whole lot of this stuff, yeah. and it just it it will go away. I mean, anything you feed, it grows. So once you start ignoring the advances, ignoring the DMs, ignoring all of that stuff, because you have an innate desire for this type of end to your storyline, then you mm. start giving energy to the rest of it. So yeah, but you won't ignore it. You won't ignore it unless you don't have a need for it. And a lot of women have a need for that attention. If they don't get Correct. that attention, oh, that's good. You, if you, that's you good. don't need it, it's easy to ignore. But if you got to have that, you have that it, life, you can't ignore it. Yeah. You can't. You mm. gotta have it. But and, see, that's, and why I, that's why I said what I said. It's when you make the decision that matters. Yes, yes. Because when yeah. the decision is made, you behave differently. Like what Charles said earlier. When you're talking about once you get to this place and this point and you say, okay, this is it. This is the end of it. This is cut and dry. This is how it's going to be. That's how it is. And any guy that has made a decision, he men don't change their mind like we do. Right. So when a guy makes a decision, he literally, he stays married to it. He stays connected right. to the decision. Now, we right. have a tendency to change our mind and vacillate, go back and forth. But for the most part, when a man says, this is how I'm going to handle this, this is, how I'm, this is the direction I'm going in, and this is what I want the end result to be, that's exactly how it plays out. So and men don't try to change women's mind. They men don't. don't try to change a woman's mind. They don't. They don't. They don't. That's, us, that's us, us that do that. That's us that do that. Time, all the time, correct? <laughs> Because a guy, you not, you know, you don't hear conversations with guys sitting around talking about, man, um, I sure wish I could change, I could change her. That's not a conversation that men have. Right. That's a conversation no. that women have. Girl, if he just only do this, and if he just only do that, and if he did that, okay, so why are you still with him if he don't do this, that, and the other? Well, right. You know, I ain't trying to be out here again and trying to find this person. I'm not trying to mm -hmm. do all that. So, in yeah. essence, what you're saying is you're good with how he is. That's what you're really saying. So that, what you say like it's a it's a it's a show that I want us to do later on, um, Charles. Does a leopard really change his stripes? Mm. Or, does he, <laughs> or does he just wear or does he just wear a different color well? It depends on the car wash. But anyway, go ahead. Then anyway, all I'm gonna say <laughs> all I'm gonna say is this. It depends. He, um, does he really change his stripes, or does he just wear a yeah. different color well? Right, right, right. So if he decides, if he, if he has a different goal, when he changes his goal, right, he'll change right. his direction. Correct. That's it. That's perfect. That's it. Yeah. 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 But again, and, and, that comes with a made up mind. That's the decision. Yeah. That still goes back to the decision. Once that decision is set in place and that, and he says, hey, guess what? I ain't going to the car wash no more. This is how I really look. It's a wrap. No, no. For the for the encouragement of Marquita, I, I will tell you this: <laughs> <laughs> there are some women that the man changed on the on the pivot. He audibles. It doesn't necessarily. He may not saw her coming, and when she come, and when when he encounters her, he realizes to himself, "Hmm, I have the choice of either take my usual route, or I can say I can't risk this one." And let me get myself, let okay. me get my mind right. Mm -hmm. That can't happen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me bring my that, game. That, but see, again, mm -hmm. there's the decision. Right. When he says, no, I, I can't afford to mess this up. I don't want to lose her. She is of great value to me. Right. She has right. shown me that she's worth me doing what I need to do to go ahead and seal this deal. Now, while in the holding pattern, I'll tell you what, what I'll tell you what a, <laughs> I'll tell you what a killer pattern. A killer for this is because you you guys are talking earlier about um I'm, you know these offers and this this is something I don't understand and I really think it kills the value of a woman. How many times have you heard a woman say this? Let's just say Jason, you maybe you know in your single days, right? You was out, you was hanging out, and maybe you maybe you was just your intentions weren't that solid. You but you sold her a game to get what you wanted, right? And so after the yep, game yep. was sold, you got what you wanted. Then you hit then the females' conversation will go something like this. Girl, I don't. Well, girl, what happened to Jason? I don't know, girl. You know what? He he didn't have to lie. If he was with that girl, he should have told me. I might would. If he was honest, I probably would have went anyway. So I don't understand right. that. So if he's with somebody, why why are you going to put your own clearance stamp on yourself? If he got somebody, mm -hmm. then he has somebody. So there is no option B. So I hear this all the time where women will say, you know what? If he was honest with me, he didn't have to lie. He could have got it anyway. Why? Oh, what are you saying? Why hey, man, you know what? 
It's yeah. funny you say that. And you know what? I don't know if these women on this uh, on this panel will uh, 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 agree, admit it, or whatever the case may be. But let's just state the facts. Most women are very competitive against most women. So yeah, they correct. already have a correct. plan A. They, they know they're coming in as a plan B or C, but they figure that whatever it is that they're about to do is about to right. replace that other person. And when that, that particular game plan does not work, there's a know problem. What I'm then, yeah, then, yeah. Then you're right. They was like, yeah, well, he problem. just ain't crap. It's like, correct. no, he told you what he was about from the get go. Right. He told you what the situation was. You still obliged. I've heard that comment you've said several times. Several times. You know, yeah, that's it. This was the deal. Yeah. You didn't ask, number one. <laughs> and, right. then number two, and if I did say it, you know, maybe it prolonged until we still did what we did. Correct. Well, you got Correct. Somebody, so why do you want me? Because damn it, I'm here. I mean, you right. know. Right. <laughs> I, think, I think it goes with the fact well, that if just. You, if you knew that, then why did you invite me over? You know, I mean, whatever the game is. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, right. I <laughs> but I think it goes with the fact that he made a decision to say, okay, I have somebody, so I'm going to, I've decided to even pull you into, I guess, a triangle, whatever. Give me the <laughs> option to decide whether or not I want to go with you. Don't hide it from me. So just like you yes. had the option. You but, but, the you're, but, you're saying, but you're saying the perfect thing, what we're saying. So if you right. know there is a triangle, do you want to be a part of it? If you know there's an existing one. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So that's what uh, this is what I'm saying. So, yeah, so yeah, so it's right. a situation that you was like, I know you got somebody, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Mm. Now, it was a situation. Now, uh -uh. Uh -uh. I don't want to play second fiddle, nor no, no, am I, I gonna ask, try to fight. Uh, oh, okay. I've seen people say, like, you know, you have a conversation. Say, hey, this was up. It's okay. You grown, I'm grown. Okay, cool. But you the man, so so now you show me you cool. Oh, we cool. Mm. Two weeks later, what we doing? What the fuck you mean? What we doing? <laughs> where, where is this relationship going? I can't. Okay. It's okay. Go on, go on, Cisco. It's all right. Go on, Cisco. He already in the go on, Cisco. I can't. I can't. I'm coming home, Elizabeth. I'm coming home, Elizabeth. Hold on. Hold on. If I say about what I was doing, and you say you're cool with me, <laughs> two weeks does not change what I said. Mm. Mm. And you're like, what, what are we doing? You told me that you was grown and I was grown, and you said you made your decision. I said I made my decision. You cool with it? And I said you sure? You go yeah. And then it comes back to well, you the man. You should have known. Whoa, whoa, you was grown two weeks ago. Now I'm the man. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, now I gotta protect shot. your feelings. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the stuff I heard. I ain't saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. You heard a whole, you heard a whole, whole lot. Is all I, I got. To say. That's a very detailed situation for it to be heard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, hey, from what I'm hearing, you put yourself in an adult situation with uh, adolescent uh, emotions. Girl, you're right. Wow. wow. And so he, he pointing fingers like he practicing or he has done this certain conversation <laughs> at some point with someone. <laughs> hey, you know what, Mr. Cisco? What I like to call that, you know, it's like, hey, if I told you when we met, hey, look, I'm just looking. I just want to have a good time. Maybe we can go out, kick it, grab a few drinks, whatever else. I, I'm going to put it up front. I'm not really looking for a relationship, but, you know, it is what it is. Like you said, two weeks later, where are we going with this? You know what? You know, now we got a problem because, as I like to call it, now you're trying to order off the menu. I gave you the menu. Mm. I gave. <laughs> oh, mm. uh -huh. Wow. I gave you the menu. Wow. Now you're oh trying to order off the menu. If I said we're going to go get steak and eggs, that don't mean you get to go get lobster now two weeks later. Wow. Now, if I change the menu, fine. I don't change the menu. That's lane. what I serve. That's what the I serve. Only, this hey, the only entity that can change the menu is the restaurant. If I'm the mm. restaurant, because wow. you got your restaurant and you gave me your menu. Wow. I, I'm a restaurant. I gave you my menu. We're both patrons, right? Wow. To me, use wow. my big words. We're both patrons. <laughs> don't come to my restaurant ordering stuff that ain't on the menu because now we got conflict mm. or possible conflict. Right. Now there's feelings right. involved. You know what I'm saying? Because now right. you're trying to order something that was never available to begin with. It wow. was not an asterisk at the bottom that said this could be available. So until right. me as that me as that restaurant 
adds new items to the menu and or changes that menu, it is what it is. Mm. And it's exactly that. Not the more. You don't go to Papa Do's and order a hamburger. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? You got to no. get the Papa Do's hamburger or whatever it is. Right. Oh. Now, pea coffee. Really you hear him over there crying and stuff. Uh, uh, Capri <laughs> says, Capri <laughs> says in the... Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's, oh, it's 9.13. Oh, man. man oh, it's time to flu. Hey, what Jesus say? Let's keep this party going. What we doing? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Ask the they people, Pete Coffee. Pete Coffee, ask the people. Hey, they still talking. They still out here talking. So I get, I'm, hey, they must be good. They still talking. So here's the uh, thing. I apologize for the language there. But check it out. Not it's all right, sir. Listen, though. No. Here's another thing. Marquita, I'm sure, you, I'm sure you can agree with this. When you talk about women being competitive, one of the biggest mistakes that women make is we talk too much. We tell mm. too much about what's going on in our relationship with our guy. Right. So then we turn around and find our guy over at the other grocery store mm -hmm. in the in the line checking out. Say, wait, wait a minute, hold on. What you doing over here at this grocery store? I, yeah, what you? And we well, didn't even know the grocery store was in the neighborhood, but you introduced. Right. It. They, they said they said the, they said the meat. Giving up so they much said... information, so much yeah. intimate information. That now she's like she's a pack and carry. She don't even, you know, she ain't one of them uh, groceries. She's not even a real grocery store. She just got the little bag in there. You don't even get a card or nothing. She mm -hmm. just all, she hey come on over here and let me go ahead and meet whatever need you're not that's not being met over at the major grocery store chain that you're at currently. What some people like Whole Foods? Correct. You know, and, and some and some of these specialized shops have fresh meat. Just the people. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they have better meat than some of the big chains. It just appears. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I can't. I can't, <laughs> go in there. I can't. Hey, look, the viewer said y'all keep it moving. The viewer. All right, all right, all right. Going, but hey, this, you though, keep it here, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. If we can all get to a place where we can yeah. just be transparent about who we are and what we really intend, then we all will be better. Because here's the deal. Women are driven by how we feel, right? So you meet guy, guy entertains you, guy got another lady, but the guy has opened up the, the opportunity for entertainment. And so now you are engaged, you plugged in, you all connected. What the guy has to think about this component as well. Now you got this girl emotionally attached to you, which is a problem because you already know that's how we're driven. That doesn't Amazing count. how that happens. We don't, we don't, you know, we try to say, <laughs> let me tell you what we try to say that's the biggest lie. We try to say that we can't, we can detach this from her. Ain't no truth in that. It's mm -hmm. all one and the same. When you enter there, you got in here and you got in there. Period. There's no, there's no variation between that. So men have to take ownership for their component and we have to take ownership for our component. Or whatever that decision is, instead of everybody want to play the blame game. Well, you shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't. Have, no, 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 no. We all came to the table knowing exactly what we were getting ready to deal with with this tango. It's ain't mm -hmm. nothing changed. You know, I am. If we're not. We can. We can try to front. Unless we're dysfunctional, we're not detached from our vagina. Period. Mm -hmm. Unless we're dysfunctional. That's 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 the function dysfunctionality. If you're not attached to your own anatomy. Something's wrong with that. Mm. Something has happened to you to cause you to be detached. It's not normal. It's not realistic, and it's not human. But but, it, but it's it's a narrative being pushed today. Like when I saw when uh, Caprice, Caprice Nicole said, "Men know that's because men know um, we lead with our emotions." That is true. But this other side that nowadays, is. but nowadays you have the women saying, "Oh, I can go over there and sleep with him and come home. I don't care. I go right over there too." They're they're trying to mm. force this. This thing to say, I, I'm just like you. I can do the same thing, but better than you. Okay, so you're telling you us you're, you're suppressing your emotions. Let me tell you something. You know what I'm we got an entrance. Right. Right. So that means y'all go into us. Okay. Right. You come in the same way you go out, empty. Right. right. We get filled up. Right. Right. So if you come into a gas station and you filling me up with gas, your gasoline. You right. better believe that I'm gonna be ignited and I'm gonna burn whatever fuel you put inside of me. Ooh. Ooh. So we can tell you and lie and play this old game about, oh, I'm just like you. That's a lie. 
It's no right. truth in it. It's no validity to it. That's why we call Mother Earth. You know why we call it Mother Earth? Because you actually dig and till and you put something in it for it to produce something. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So right. let me ask you this. Produce a baby. Is, can it, no can it not be a <laughs> huh? It ain't no way of getting around. <laughs> we, I mean, no, we, we, we play, we play this game. We play this game like we can, like we can handle what man do, but we don't have the anatomy, nor the wherewithal, nor the actual pr produced product to be able to do that. To do it, we right. don't penetrate nobody. We ain't got nothing to penetrate nobody with. Right. That's How's that the possible? ultimate cover up. It's the ultimate Absolutely. cover up because we feel like we have to. If it seems like the majority of the guys are out here playing the game, so we have to get it when we fit in somewhere. I'm, I'm saying we, are, not me, but I'm saying we as a you know whole. But um, I feel like we feel like we have to join in where the game is played in order to seek some type of entertainment. Correct. And, because it seemed like a woman with standards is kind of like left alone. Like it, we don't get the. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But you know what? There again is that decision. Do you want to be a part of the cesspool and get infected? Do you want to be or a really stand off? Right. Right. Or just go ahead and stay outside of the cesspool and stay in that fresh, clean, uh, fresh water that's out there that you got to swim upstream for. Yeah. The problem is a Definitely lot of us, so. we lower our whole value down mm -hmm. to our vagina just to get that one thing called an orgasm mm -hmm. is what it boils down to. I just want right. to feel that euphoria. I just want that high. Well, right. sometimes mm -hmm. you have to learn how to reject the high to get the growth, the mental mm -hmm. stamina and wherewithal to be able to handle what comes on with comes along with that euphoria. Because a lot of mm -hmm. people don't realize this. When your brain goes up that high and those neurons and dendrites fire off in your mind, do you realize that if there's no love attached to it, within 72 hours you fall into depression? Mm. Orgasms Dang. treat your treat You're your right. brain the same way as a heroin yeah. addict. It'll yeah. take you all the way up, and the worst drug to be on is heroin. That's the same thing mm. an orgasm does. Same exact thing. If there's no love attached to that, within 72 hours, you fall into a deep state of depression, and guess what you got to go do? Get high again. Again? Yep. Yeah. It's like, yeah. And yeah. all this yeah. one is destroying you the whole while. Because, again, mm -hmm. if we're being penetrated, right? And then you think about these females that's being penetrated by multiple males, right? Mm -hmm. That anatomy ain't the same. It's not the same size. It's not the same shape. It's no. not the same width. You're destroying that whole canal. Mm just to get high from somebody that don't yeah. love you, don't care about you, and could care less if you lived or died. It's mm. the you, you know what? It's interesting you said that because I wrote this down earlier based on another point you made earlier. And I said, I was going to say, could it be that the women are moving around, sleeping with multiple people on a regular basis, mm -hmm. uh, maybe night after night after night to help suppress emotion? Mm -hmm. Remember, like you're saying, mm -hmm. we enter you. Mm -hmm. So, yes, there right. is a connection. There is an emotion there. Right. And what I have seen and heard about dealing with my buddies and everything else is that most women who have been able to put be on. <laughs> like a pimp or a player or whatever right. else is because mm -hmm. they consistently mess with certain people. They keep certain people in rotation. And every time they start to feel that emotion that you're talking about, Mm -hmm. It's time for plan, you know, plan B, C, D, shift. E, whatever. Shift. Right. That's right. Through. Yeah, shift right. working. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. I mean, that that's interesting that you said that. Now, okay. Ms. Marquis. Uh oh. You still there? Uh oh. Uh oh. There was I'm something here. you said earlier. Uh -oh. I took this note down, and of course, you know, I'm I'm rolling with the conversation. And this may not be the most popular thought, but it's something we all, men and women, have to come to grips with. You were saying you was putting the responsibility back on the men. Well, hey, how come, you know, it's on us to control the tempo and blah, 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 as women? Mm -hmm. And how come the men can't do certain things? That's, like I said, I've worked with elders in uh, the church that was also working in that ministry. And I've dealt with a lot of the young men as well. And mm -hmm. about 80, 90% of those young men came from single family homes. Mm -hmm. Okay? So... There are certain things that need to take place. Number one, as men, yes, we do need to step up. We need to make sure we're taking care of what we need to take care of. Okay, we need to take care of our young, raise them correctly, 
hopefully get along with uh, uh, the mother, you know, and et cetera. Now, for the women, there was a statement that one of the gentlemen said, one of the elders, he's about 60 or so, you know, got grown kids and grandkids and everything. So one of the things he said is that what he's noticed in the single family household is that the women will raise their daughters and love their Ooh. sons. Wow. Mm -hmm. I want to let that sink in for a second and I'll explain what I mean. Mm -hmm. love, they're raising their oh, daughters. We know what that, we know what yeah, we get it. And they're loving their sons. Mm -hmm. So when you start talking about when I well when earlier when I was talking about the fact that a lot of these young men are now grown that I first mm -hmm. started with when I was right. in this ministry, why won't they grow up and why won't they stop playing games and why won't they this, that, and the other? <laughs> Well, that's because mama always told them they was cute. Mama always made sure they did this. Mama didn't make sure they went outside and learned how to change a tire and all this right. stuff that most men learn how to do. And mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. yes, I blame the fathers as well. I'm not just blaming the moms. But I see pictures on Facebook and Instagram all the time. I mean, you can look at the little stars, Travis Scott and all of them with, the, with, with his little babies and everything else. Everything is always, look at the cutie. Look at the little one. Oh, ain't he cute? You know, mm -hmm. you're dressing your son up like the man that wouldn't stay with you. He got, you know, your little son, two years old, with his pants sagging and stuff. Oh, and he said, you know. Did he just call him out? Did he say you dressed yeah. him up like the man that wouldn't stay with you? The man who didn't stay with you, yeah. But, Woo. I mean, but and what I'm getting at is, like I said, I'm kicking That's a bunch real. of people in the, so in, in the rear end right now. So, <laughs> as men, like I said, we need to start taking more responsibilities and make sure we're taking care of our kids. Mm -hmm. As women... The responsibility also lies on y'all when you have a young man. And granted, I refuse to say that a woman can't raise a man. I refuse to say that. It's a lot harder for y'all to raise right. a man. Mm. But you can't raise this man to sit here and be a yes, dear man, because you didn't like the way that some grown man spoke to you. Mm. And then when he gets older, you wonder why he won't grow up and get the hell out your house at 30, 40 Correct. years old. Correct. Because for one, he has a failure to launch because he always was a yes, dear man to you and mm. he will and he's looking for that in another woman well guess what mm. if you raised your daughter and you loved your son he's looking for you your daughter is looking for a real man because you raised her to go to college and do this that and the other while little man man over here stuck in the bedroom mm. still writing his name on the juice and stuff you know what i'm saying right. wow. so it's a different mentality and like i said the wow. responsibility goes to both of us but we also need to make sure if that man is not going to be in your life let him go Mm. You don't need that, but raise that boy, raise right. that young man to be the man that yeah. you really want to be. Oh, and what we started yeah. finding out talking to some of these women is when they started up with some of the BS and they couldn't control their emotions, you know, and 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 you had a man that said, you know what, I've had enough. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I've had enough of this. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna table this until we calm down. Whatever the case may be, cuss fuss, whatever. They raised that young man to where he would never just stand up for himself and say, enough is enough. So when mm. he goes and he finds a woman that gives him the resistance that he does not like because he didn't have to deal with it from mama, he's going to move around. Because like you said, we got options. So I women mean, always have That's options. what Mr. Dixon women said earlier options. about not having to be responsible. When Mr. Dixon said that earlier, when he said yeah, all that too. coddling and all that kind of stuff, and like basically, I don't have to be a man at this point. I don't right. have to exactly. be responsible well, or own up to anything because this is how I've been conditioned. Correct. And it's yeah. been conditioned, and the conditioning didn't start with you. It started with my mama. Mm. There you go. Uh, I'll put it this way. Yeah. Just don't want to say you know, like my it's wife makes me a plate out of respect, not because I don't know how to make my own. Mm. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Cisco trying to say something. Go ahead, Cisco. But, yeah, go well, ahead. I'm sorry. You'll notice, you'll notice that sometimes you'll, you'll see a, a young boy, you know, he, he, the first thing, my, when I grew up in the country, so you learn to take care of women. You learn that you take yep. the trash out, you cut the grass, you did all of those things, and it was it was expected of you. And if you didn't do it, you was considered sorry. Mm, you know, and that's, right. and, and you, you oh, were considered, yeah. mm -hmm. you, you're you sorry, you would have changed the tire, you would, go, go with the men. But mm. what happens when, when women don't like the man, they protect their son away from the man and, and ensure he's going to have a feminine mindset mm -hmm. because they see mm -hmm. the man being powerful and take control as being abusive. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's not abusive. When he say, that's what it is, that's all I'm going to say about it. But mm -hmm. we're going to talk about it. And that boy mm -hmm. is watching. A boy learns how he feels about being a man by how he watches his mama treat a man. 
If she don't respect right. him, why would he want to be a man? Right. There you go. Are they all no good? I don't want to be. Right. I, I had this picture one time where this, but this man is walking out the door. This woman is saying, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need a man. And then the boy is saying, I don't want to be a man. And then the girl mm. says, I don't want a man. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. I guess I saw that before, yeah. 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 And, and, and what they're saying is that that's a bunch of dysfunctionality. All wow. that is ultimate dysfunctionality. Hence, another major reason why the relationships are in such turmoil now. Because it mm-hmm. does start with the It starts with these family units that are almost not in existence anymore. Jason, it's funny you talked about raising a raising a, a boy. And you know, raise loving a boy and raising your daughters, right? Well, mm-hmm. when my children's father died, that father died. He died in July. My son turned thirteen in September. Mm-hmm. The most critical time in a boy's life, and his father falls dead on. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what I did. I a woman can raise a man to a certain extent, but there right. have to be males in place. Mm-hmm. There's no Very way true. that a woman can raise a boy independent of a male. It's impossible mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. Yeah. you are not created or designed to be able to reproduce what we are not. Mm. So mm-hmm. you think about it from a male's perspective, in order for a male to reproduce another male, the male has to be present somewhere. So mm. you know what I right. did immediately when his father died, I'm talking about within weeks. I literally started seeking out men. I found found yes. me a village. Uncles, grandfathers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I found yeah. me a village to help raise my son. Not just yes. men, not just anatomically, but men who were family oriented, structured, solid, mm. had their lives, not perfect lives, but could give my son a strong enough example of what a male is supposed to look like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it is our responsibility as women, if we are single and there's no man around, to identify men. And you and, and as much as men talk to us, you can interview them jokers easily to find mm. out yeah. who they really are as people. Right. You know I mean? right. So you right. we, it's our responsibility to make certain that we surround our sons with positive male role models and influences. Otherwise, you know Absolutely. what's gonna happen? He will not have the capacity or the ability to be a man without a man present. Like Mr. Cisco said, yep. It ain't gonna work. It's not gonna happen. It's not possible. Because mm-hmm. what'll happen is he'll, he'll go from his mama's house to his girlfriend's apartment back to his mama's house. Always. Right. Yep. And we'll That's say right. and, and a lot of times and this is black, black and a lot of times and, and here's the danger. Here's another thing too. Some women don't want to relinquish to let a man step in to help raise that man, that boy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And it that's, shouldn't be somebody you're dating initially. That's a big old if problem in dating. itself. That's a huge issue. <clears throat> but if 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 we as men really pay attention, and I don't know if women you would agree to this, but this is what I've seen from afar. Because you know I've seen a lot of situations where it was a single mother and they may have had a son or whatever, mm-hmm. and I always pay close attention to the dynamic. And I said to myself, you know. The way, if a man, if we are smart, if you look at how a woman, look at how her woman raises her son, that's the kind of man she's looking for. It's hard to fathom, but she's instilling things in him that she would want to come to her, whether it be dysfunctional or not. She's in the way she's telling him, yo, you're going to be, yes, you are. You're going to be this kind of man. You're not going to be like that because she's saying, this is the ideal man I want. So let me teach him and show him all these things that I would adore in a grown version of him. And and it's, and it's, and I struggle with that. And I said, wow, well, is that, you know, is that, is that the way it should be? Because this is kind of void of the, the male input. Right. You know what I'm saying? But this right. is what's happening. They're ra- if you look at the, the situation, they're raising that boy to be, that's how they want you to walk through the door, the way they're sending him out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah. Wow. Hey, you said a whole bunch right there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's kind of, right it there. almost makes you want to, it might, almost makes you want to regurgitate because that sounds weird and dysfunctional. Mm-hmm. Sounds mm-hmm. very strange and bizarre. Like, you know, yeah. and I'm like thinking to myself, I have a 20 year old son. I'm like, ooh, I mean, that's my son. But think, you know but think about the values you put in him. 
The things oh, you put in him, you're putting things in that you deem noble or good or just. You're thinking right. you telling him the right way. And right. that's just what you're doing. But in but he's becoming he it, to the other guy looking from the outside, I'm saying the way she's meticulous with this boy and careful and handles him so carefully, oh, this is what she wants. This is how this is her way of branding the man. This is how she's doing it. And that's what she's that's what she likes to come back and return to her. If you can mimic that, you the house will be smooth because now there's no ripple between you and the son because you ripple. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys uh, similar. You're similar. He's he's not you because some women are afraid you're going to be maybe you know maybe Jason come in the house and he was a Q and he got these tats and he's a manly man but he's different than the ideal of what she wants to raise. You know what I'm saying? So she separates you. She separates you. Yeah, she don't want that yeah, influence. But there, but there, but. There, but, there, but... Isn't that wouldn't that be dysfunctional though, Mr. Bishop? Of course. That is that's it's dysfunctional. dysfunctional, but it makes but, you but uncomfortable. That's, that's, that's done in a, that's done where the normal structure is not there. Mm. Correct. This is just this is, this is a reaction to a, a pathology because of an absence of male authority. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. It's a default. <laughs> and, I mean, but you know that that's the danger because what it sounds like it's funny because Alice said something in the comment, but. That's what I was thinking in my head. It sounds as though this type of woman is trying to find a mate in her child. Correct. That's but, exactly but they stay there happened. so long, sometimes they're 40 years old and 45 years old still living at home. Yeah. They, they, they hey, just a man in the house. Yep, I was just about to say that that's, the most crippling thing as a young man, as a mom, that you can do to your son if he's four or five years old is start considering him the man of the house. I agree mm. with you, Mr. Cisco. I was just about to yeah. say that same yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, so let, his me whole life, let me tell you. He feels like he got to take care of you. Mm. But you're, wow. you're really me, taking care of him, but he feels like he needs to take care of you. Let me, let so me tell basically, you something. Oh, no. Let me tell you something. <laughs> the one thing I have checked everybody who's ever told my son he was a man in my house, I said, my son is not a man of no house. He don't Thank have you. a house. He hasn't, he, hasn't, he hasn't built his own brand, his own name, his own identity. That's when he'll have a house when he's able to provide for himself and others. That's when he'll have a house. But as this is this house got my name on it, not his. There you go. So don't tell Absolutely. my son that he's a man of nothing because he's mm. not. Mm. So as long as I'm the authority, the authority, and I am present, mm -hmm. then he's not the parent. So right. he don't run nothing, and he don't run nothing in here. So even and you'd be amazing how many women don't do that. What you're oh, doing, I, I mean, wish they I would. Have, I've had people who have tagged me on Father's Day. Mm. And I have acted and very. Don't, don't do that. I have acted yeah, very. Don't ignorant. give me that. Don't ever. Wow. Put me I'm in not the that. Position. I'm not a mother and a father. I'm a mother. Correct. Mm -hmm. I can't Correct. Be both. I don't have. I'm not a man. So I don't want nobody tagging me. Talking about happy. I I literally have acted real ignorant when somebody tagged me. Talking about happy Father's Day. I said, Do I mm -hmm. look like a man to you? Do I look like mm -hmm. a dude? Wow. And half the time I'm laughing when I see the women say, that's right, I'm the, hold up, I got to get my head going. I'm the mother and the father because his sorry blank, you know, what ain't here yeah. and everything else. And right. then you know what I do? As a person who helps not only, as a person who raises my kids and helps friends raise theirs, like you said, that village, when right. I wow. see that, right. I automatically know if I was ever single, I'm not going to approach you for nothing but a piece of butt. Because, mm. you know, you're wow. really independent. I can't do nothing with you. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You mama and daddy. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And you don't need me. Single, you don't need no man if you mama and daddy. What you need a man daddy. for? If you yeah, if, if you don't father, you don't need no man. They Not don't realize the level of <laughs> it's that lie they tell trying to take on though. What they don't realize right that that's they don't realize the level of responsibility they're taking on to say that I am the man and the woman. They don't mm. understand what type of impact that is. That's too much. There's no way you can be both man and woman. Like, it's just, yeah, it's too much. Amen. You, know, you, you think about the mantle that is on a man. Right. The, Very much so. his, the way he was even designed and created, we can't compete. No. Mm. Period. We're not even structured or built or have the wherewithal or the stamina to do some of the stuff that men do. Mm. I don't we went, want we went it. To, we wouldn't survive it. We wouldn't survive it. We don't have the capacity. I don't want it. it. <laughs> right. You know, even when you have women out here trying to do these more masculine dominant positions and work and all that stuff, their bodies be torn down long yeah. before a man even is affected right. by it. Right. Yeah. yeah.
Because we out of I our used to work construction. You're right. We're out of our element when we try to step and cross over these lines and say, oh, yeah, you know what I can. No, I don't want to do what y'all do. I ain't mm. interested. Mm. No, thank you. No, thank you. I tell I like you what, you. I wish my wife would come to me and say that she's the man of the house. I'll hand her them keys to that lawnmower real quick and be like, make it happen, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, let me say you how it's going to be. Crank up, baby. Crank up. I mean, I'll give y'all, I'm going to give y'all a perfect example. Two winters ago, this is a perfect example of, of, of a girl being a girl. Two winters ago, I go upstairs in my daughter's room to wake her up for school. I'm like, Maya, ah! So my son come run up and says, Mom, what you screaming for? It's so four o'clock in the morning, right? Dude, it was a mouse sitting in my daughter's room. Mm. Now, you know, any natural woman is not going to go try to run behind no mouse. What? You become a girl then. <laughs> you understand yeah, what I mean? Yeah. There's certain times where right. you really, I don't care if you think you're a man or not, that's when you're going to back right on off. You know what? Let me go uh -huh. Uh, John mm. to come over and get this mouse up out of here. Because yeah. ain't, no, ain't no woman in her right mind, a regular woman, you know, even if she say, oh yeah, I'm the man. No, baby. When, when some a snake, anything like any kind, of threat, any kind of threat, any kind of threat, mm. a woman will, I mean, she'll t shed off all that I want to be a man stuff real quick. And she'll mm. seek to be protected. Exactly. Because I needed mm. some protection from that mouse. Okay. <laughs> and you saw that son of yours ran up there ready to make sure that he was about to eliminate whatever threat that had you yelling. Hey, as soon as he heard head. one of the women screaming, he was up there, I mean, quick, fast, and in a hurry. And, right. and you know, for, for the bigger note, whatever bills my son make, he pay. I don't pay mm. none of my son's bills. Mm. There you go. I don't know. He even paid for his own college tuition. He works. Mm. Mm. So all this stuff that these women out here, I don't, I don't understand where they're getting it from. These mindsets, mm -hmm. mentalities, I don't know who told us, whatever they told us, but it's a lie. If you don't, mm. if we don't raise these boys to do what they're supposed to be doing, it's going to throw off the whole ecosystem. Yep. Because the whole know, earth boy, is going to be affected. A boy, I believe this, a boy needs to have a healthy fear of getting his crap kicked out of him to do certain things. If he ain't scared of nobody, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. he's a guy 60 years old, his mama like, I'm going to go upside your head. He ain't worried about that. But if he's 60 years old, his dad said, what you do, boy? And be, and he afraid, he's afraid of getting his butt kicked. He ain't going to do certain things. Because mm -hmm. he don't want that whooping. He don't want that mm -hmm. beating. Right. You, know I mean? you said the wrong thing to dad, you get busted in the mouth. Oh, mama going right. to yell at you and talk to you, going, yeah, 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 you be whatever. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Absolutely. And the dad will give you that throat punch. <laughs> and they start, they, they you down. Hey, man, it's funny you say that because about a month ago, I was having a talk with one of my buddies. And granted, I lost my, uh, my father back in 97 to a car accident. It's funny because I said, you know what? I never liked getting yelled at. But if that man was still alive right now, mm. right now, and he raised his voice at me, you I yeah, yeah. Really, I'm going right back to being 10 years old. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean. Oh, yeah. I'm 40 years old. I'm, I, if he says something to me right now, I'll be like, my, my bad, my, my bad. I'm I sorry, dude. Right, right, yeah, right. You know right. Right. right, and that's and that's that goes back to the ecosystem not being thrown off because that authority yeah. that that man, the weight that your father carry in that authority, yeah. it still resonates with you right now, and he's not even on the planet with you anymore. Think about mm -hmm. how powerful that is. The impact. Yeah. Mm. And like Mr. Cisco said, both my parents are from the country. They didn't play that crap. They like, what you inside for? Yeah, you it, it ain't raining. Quick. Right. Yeah. Mm. What you inside right. for? Go outside and go do something. <laughs> go, matter of fact, go find something to do. Pick up right. some wood and some nails. Build me something. I'll be back in an hour. Right. Yeah. Wow. Right. But if you come back in this house, you know. Yeah. Well, look, y'all. Listen, listen, let me tell y'all, this has been absolutely <laughs> incredible. Yeah. We gotta shut. We gotta shut it down, Mr. Dixon. Yeah. All right, let, let's bring it around. Let's rope, rope it around. All right, I'm gonna rope, rope it around. around. I mean, my goodness, this has been so incredible. I mean, man, y'all just stirred up the pot and got all the saints in the church saying. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and look at the comments. <laughs> yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> for, for the sake of, <laughs> and, and for the sake, for the sake of you, for the sake of you and Marquis, let's break it. We're gonna turn the turn the corner. All right, so so 
I feel like Marquita, Marquita wants to know, I done heard all this horrible stuff y'all done said, but tell me something good. All right, so here's the good. We're going to turn the corner. The answer to, to the offers and the option is really not really one. It's not an individual thing. It has right. to come to accountability from everybody. Like right, your yes. sisters have to stop lowering their value so that you can gain Definitely. yours. You know what I'm saying? The, on the men's side of it, we have to, uh, uh, Jason has to call me and say, hey, Charles, man, so-and-so told me you inbox her. Don't, hey, dude, man, she she married. Don't bother. That's bogus, man. We got to hold yeah. each other accountable to, to curve yeah, our behaviors. So. And that, it's not going to happen. Last but not least, here's another thing. This is what I think will keep a lot of women, I know it's, it's, it's a hard thing for them, but it'll keep them out of a lot of turmoil. You know what? You know what I think the worst enemy to a woman, and it's, it's the she's going to say, but I love that. But it's the worst enemy to her is good treatment, because good treatment is so good to them they don't receive it from anybody. A married guy, mm -hmm. this person, so and so, so and so, but he treats me nice, but he's not yours. Right. Does it matter how much value are you putting on good treatment? So right. we, if we get to that point where we start treating ourselves good and stop so much demanding it from him. You right. won't mm -hmm. be in these side, peculiar, dip-off situations. So I think this Correct. is the way for us to begin to get back to harmonizing and leveling the playing field so we can, can have a fair chance at love and not feeling like you. Because right now, there is this, in the atmosphere, there's this huge cloud of distrust. Right. Nobody trusts nobody, and everybody's selfish. So this right. is why we're not connecting or giving our heart or, or, or letting you in the door of us and all this because of all this stuff. So if we can eliminate that, we'll be fine. I think that's that's the start, at least, as we get back to there. Right. Yeah. And, that, and that's, where the work, that's where the work begins in accountability right. to each other. And even in your relationships, being accountable to the person you're with. Right. Yeah. So if, if there's a if there's something going on and he has a sense of something or you got a sense of something, we should be able to be raw and naked enough to say, okay, you know, yeah, I did this. I didn't realize it was gonna hurt you. I wasn't trying to offend you. I still want you. I want to make it work, and I'm wrong. How can I fix it? You know, right. a lot of it right. is just people just go ahead and go and be vulnerable. Let that guard on down, and just go ahead and give the person what they came for in the first first place which is you what yeah mm -hmm. they want you they mm. want they want you and whatever that equates to you right. know not the bits and pieces and the little particles and all that but the whole person mm. all in all well here's a good this is a good hard stop place it's 9 45. yes, yes. on tonight <laughs> yes i know we appreciate everybody hanging in there the guests you know, Cisco, Absolutely. I'm glad to meet you, brother. Hey, now, and you and Marquita, now, now we're going to, y'all, once you come on the show, you be, you become a permanent fill-in. So you, we, we're going to be contacting <laughs> you guys to come back. We'll be <laughs> back. You guys will be back in the Saturday. No we already booked Jason. We done got Jason already. We just how we do. <laughs> y'all did. Y'all have. I can't even lie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jason, Jason then got beat up and said, hey, hurry up and eat your food. It's time for the show. <laughs> right. That's good. <laughs> Yeah. But you, guys, right. you, guys, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much Likewise. Uh, for joining with us tonight. It's been an incredible journey with you guys. This has been yes. one of the best shows we've had so far. Um, yeah. you guys, it's been really, I mean, even the audience is still chiming in. So you guys right. are amazing. Thank you for your time and your energy and your talent. And um, don't go try to be on nobody else's company now. You stay on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't be Thank you no for contract. the invite. I appreciate it. So don't sign yeah, no contracts yeah. nowhere else, y'all. Don't, don't right. let me get <laughs> you. Don't let me get you. I'm tipping over at you. Know, yeah. I'll take care. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Good night. God be with all y'all. Guys, again next week for Unique Perspective Love Talk Radio on Monday night and the hot seat on Tuesday night because we're going to have to fire it up, baby. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a great night. All right. Night. Take care, everybody. All right. Same to you. All Good right, night. Take care.